Prince William and Prince Harry will both make compromises and thrash out their differences when they reunite for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration. Prince William and Prince Harry will thrash out their differences as they reunite for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this summer, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke of Cambridge, 39, and Duke of Sussex, 38, are said to have barely spoken and had an incredibly strained relationship after two years of rows over Harry's wife and her alleged treatment of staff, the couple's decision to emigrate to America and the tons of truth bombs the Sussexes have dropped in TV interviews watched by tens of millions of people around the world. However Vanity Fair's Katie Nichol has now revealed how the brothers will come together for the Queen's celebratory weekend in June. Speaking to Birmingham Mail, she said the two would be required to appear alongside one another, adding, both brothers will have to make concessions. The Jubilee should give them more of a chance to thrash it out. The relationship between the two has been strained in recent years but sources recently claimed Prince Harry hoped to be back in the fold in time for the Jubilee. He is expected to return to the UK for the Platinum Jubilee, which will see the country enjoy a four-day bank holiday from June 2nd to 5. It is not known if Meghan Markle, 40, and their children Archie, 2, and 8-month-old Lilibet, will be joining him. The royal is said to have contacted his father for friendly chats and hopes to visit the UK later this year. An insider said, there has been a definite thaw in relations between Harry and Charles. They are on much better terms and have been having friendly chats and video calls. It has been suggested to Harry he may live to regret any lingering family bitterness, and he has taken that on board. There is a feeling he is coming back more into the fold and wants to be closer to his family, the source told The Sun. It comes as Harry's refusal to return without a substantial level of security from the Met Police is said to have put the reunion in doubt. Prince Harry faced outrage over his threat of legal action against Her Majesty's government. He is seeking a judicial review of the decision to strip him of his UK police protection team, claiming it is too dangerous to visit without Scotland Yard bodyguards. A former head of royal protection warned the royal cannot pick and choose when he wants to visit the UK and receive protection. Di Davies pointed out Princess Anne was nearly kidnapped and her protection officer was shot, but she does not get full-time protection. His comments came as sources suggested the Queen will not help her grandson in his demand for security personnel when he comes to Britain. The insiders claimed the monarch has no intentions of caving into his demands for protection from the Met and Home Office. A source told The Mirror last month, the Prince of Wales has been saddened that he hasn't had the opportunity to spend time with his grandchildren, which he really does miss. He is a fantastic grandfather and loves playing the role immensely and it's certainly fair to say he feels there is something missing from his life without the ability to get to know Harry's children. This is something he is hoping to remedy which is why he made the gesture for Harry, Meghan and the children to stay with him if they wanted to, whenever they may come home for a period of time.